Hi everyone, it's Vicki from paperinkle.com back to share with you a great little treat holder that's made from the envelope framelit, Stampin' Up's envelope framelit. I made some of these over the holidays using the cherry cobbler, but I thought I would kick it up a notch for our Valentine's Day and switch it up to the raspberry ripple and add a little heart instead of a, a little uh, snowflake. So let's get started. To start out, you need a piece of white cardstock that is three inches by eight and a half inches. Fold it in half and adhere to the top edge a piece of black cardstock that is two by three and a quarter. So it's just adhered to the top edge. And to do that, what you're going to do is mark about one and a half inches down on each side and then just adhere your cardstock. You'll have a little bit of left over at the top. It really is up to you. It just depends on how big of a brim you want that hat to be. So you can see uh, what I chose on this side. If you wanted a bigger brim, then you would just use a little bit bigger cardstock piece up there so that you could make that piece fatter in here. And then what you're going to do is take your folded piece. So once you get your big shot, what you're going to do is take your folded piece, put it on top of the magnetic pad. If you don't have a magnetic pad, you can adhere this with um, some removable tape. You're going to place your envelope framelit over top of the folded piece, being very, very careful not to cut that bottom edge because that's gonna make the bottom part of your pouch. So you're gonna line that up so that it looks even with your hat. So you're gonna see where your hat is here. You're going to line that right up as even as you can get it and the magnetic magnetic platform is fantastic for this because you can kind of move it all around. Being again careful to keep just a tiny bit there at the very very bottom. Just a tiny bit. And that looks about even. And then you're going to put your top plate on. You're going to run that through. And what you're going to come up with is this folded piece with the hat already cut out. Then what you're going to do is take sticky strip. So you're going to pull that all off and you're going to take sticky strip and put sticky strip right on the inside edges right here just to hold it shut. And you'll end up with a little pouch just like this. Then the next part's fun and easy. You simply decorate. I used a quarter inch piece of raspberry ripple for my band. And then I used a three quarter inch punch for the eyeball. For the pupil, I used a one quarter inch. And then just to give it the highlights that you see here, I just used my gel marker and on one eye, I marked it towards the inside, like that, and on the other, I would just mark it towards the outside. And that just gives your face a little bit of character. Then it simply snipped out a pumpkin nose out of a triangle, used a marker for the mouth, and then took a little bit of raspberry ripple ink, put it on my um, stamping my spot, and then just tapped it off and tapped it on for the cheeks. Finished it off with a piece of raspberry ripple uh, ribbon, and finally a embellishment of a heart cut out from the silver um, glimmer paper. You could certainly decorate it however you would like and get as creative as you want. And this inside pouch fits a small Ghirardelli chocolate square or a Twix bar or um, it's a little bit snug for a gift card just depending on what size you have. But um, a tea bag fits in here nicely as well. So use your imagination and um, happy crafting. Don't forget to stop by and visit me at www.paperinkle.com. P -P -E -E Have a great day.